I mean, you say cryptocurrency magnates, but hasn't crypto gone down in value massively over the past year? It went down in value massively and it's come back up again. But the cryptocurrency guys that we've got on the list are about gambling. So they're the ones that... Uh, so Ed Craven and Tim Heath are two notable examples. Tim Heath's a new guy who's on the list. He's based in Estonia, but he's Australian, worth about $2.15 billion. But... It's a, so it's gambling. So it, it basically runs a gambling company, but the people that bet with him do it with crypto. Now, it's banned in Australia, so you can't do it here at the moment under government laws. But there's lots of people around the world that can. So even though he's an Australian, he's actually making his money overseas from it. Mm. John, you work on this list for months. Can you tell us about some of your methodology? Uh, how accurate is the list? Do you have to rely on these billionaires to cooperate? Well, a lot of them do, actually, on background, Shari. I reckon, you know, probably four out of five, let's say 80% of them actually do, do engage with us and talk to us. Some of it's a cursory, you know, thanks for letting us know, maybe a little bit of a no comment, but there's a lot that actually give us a lot of information, uh, you know. Their sort of mentality is, well, if you're going to do it, you may as well get it right, at least in their minds. And look, you know, changes in laws in recent years has made a lot of the private companies have to lodge their accounts with ASIC every year, and that certainly helps me out. But yeah, look, a lot of them will be reading it first thing tomorrow morning, I guarantee it. They might not necessarily like it, but they certainly tolerate it these days at the very least. And are there new, are there more young entrepreneurs on the list this year than we've seen in previous years? Yeah, there's certainly a changing dynamic in the list. There's more technology people or people using retail. There's more female uh, entrepreneurs like the Zimmerman sisters, for example, the Zimmerman you know, fashion brand, Tanya Austin with Decuba as well. You know, she's a recent arrival on the list in the last couple of years. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people on the list that, look, basically make their money uh, around the world, but they live in Australia. So... If you think about it, with the internet and technology, uh, you know, social media, they can build a brand here in Australia but sell most of their wares or their goods overseas. And that's what's happened with a lot of these new companies like High Smiles and Canva, now Atlassian, obviously, to a, that's been around for a little while, but those guys are still in their early 40s. I mean, so there's younger people than ever making more money than ever, and it's because of the rise in technology and globalisation through the internet. Mm. Right, John Stensholt, thank you very much for joining us and congratulations on doing such a thorough job. We look forward to seeing the full list tomorrow, seeing how the other half live. Thanks, Sarah.